My name's Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. Um, I'm over this way. Ah, well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck. Um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The scum bar. Right. Thanks. Re-elect Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. I don't think it's wise to wake a sleeping pirate. Hoy there, stranger. New in town? My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Well, what's your name? My name is Mancom Seepwood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? I want to be a pirate. Oh, really? You should go talk to the important-looking pirates in the next room. They're pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where to go and what to do. Where can I find the governor? Governor Marley. Her mansion is on the other side of town. But pirates aren't as welcome around her place as they used to be. Why not? Well, the last time she had a pirate over for dinner, he fell in love with her. It's made things rather uncomfortable for everybody. How's that? Well, there's a whole big story about what happened next. But I don't believe a word of it. Esteban, over there at the other table, might tell you about it. He takes the whole thing seriously. Very seriously. Uh oh looks like my grog is going flat. So you'll have to excuse me. Nice talking to you. Have fun on Melee Island. Who's this pirate that's bugging the governor? Lechuk. He's the guy that went to the governor's for dinner and never wanted to leave. He fell for her in a big way, but she told him to drop dead. So he did, and then things really got ugly. How did things get ugly? The chalk was a fierce pirate. He tried to impress the governor by sailing off to find the secret of Monkey Island. But a mysterious storm came up and sank his ship, leaving no survivors. We thought that that was the end of the fierce pirate. The chalk, we were wrong. What is the secret of Monkey Island? Only LeChuck 
No. He still sails the waters between here and Murky Island. His ghost ship is an unholy terror upon the sea. That is why we are all in here and not out pirating. Where can I get a drink? A drink? You can wait for the cook to notice you. But that would take all day. Just find the mug and sneak into the kitchen. That is what we all do. What happened to your eye? Well, I was putting in my contact lens, but... Hey, wait a second. That is none of your business. I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Guybrush. Yeah? So what? Excuse me, but I'm looking for the dartboard. Dartboard? We don't have one anymore. There was a horrible accident. Drinking and darts don't mix. Look, uh, this whole leg chop thing has me pretty shaken up. So, uh, if you don't mind... Oi! Buy yourself. Oi. Nice hat. Oi. So, tell me about Moon. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects, not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects and magic spells. <laughs> Beat the rush! Go out and buy Loom today! Jeez, what an obvious sales pitch. Sorry, but on some topics, I just get carried away. Nice talking to you. Oi. Woof. 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 Forget we're short on help because of this whole chuck thing. So, so no pirates means no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Well, all right. But you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through... The, the Three, three trials. trials! Uh... What three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword. 
and the art of thievery, and the quest. What? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. Right! You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and a, a treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. And then you must drink grog with us. Grog! What's in that grog stuff anyway? Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following. Kerosene, propylene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, battery acid, and or pepperoni. As you can probably imagine, it's one of the most caustic, volatile substances known to man. <sighs> the stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bunch of foul-smelling, grog-swilling pigs. To be a pirate, you must also be a foul-smelling, grog-swilling <laughs> pig. Tell me more about treasure hunting. Legend has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Mayday Island and bring it back here. Should I have a map or something? Well, I can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. And don't forget, X marks the spot! <laughs> Tell me more about mastering the art of thievery. We want you to procure a small item for us. The idol of many hands. In the governor's mansion. The governor keeps the idol of many hands in a display case in the mansion outside of town. You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. Hey, they're a particularly vicious man. They might be able to drug him or something. Tell me more about mastering the sword. First, get ye a sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword master. Someone in town can probably direct you. Oh! You want to find somebody to train you first. <laughs> Imagine trying to take on the Swordmaster without any training. <laughs> I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. Hey! Don't go into the kitchen! I think it's full of that foul stuff pirates drink. It's boiling hot. I think that bird will peck my hand off.
deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> We are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship that murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young, inexperienced, probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bothered you with it. <laughs> I'll have him taken care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? No, but I once had a barber named Dominique. Close enough. Let's talk business. You want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? Only one in existence. Rare. Very rare. Only 100 pieces of eight. Uh, no thanks. I don't have enough money. Well then, buzz off, kid. It's bad for business. Hey, nice rat. Do you like rats? Yes, I love rats. They're very intelligent creatures. <laughs> More intelligent than him. Why, there's a story around these parts that a bunch of rats actually crewed a ship here from Fable the Monkey Island. No, that's not right. It was actually a group of monkeys. No way could a bunch of stupid monkeys crew a ship. Actually, they were chimps, and they weren't stupid. When they arrived, they sold the ship for a pretty penny. Only time I've seen anyone get the better of old Stan in a deal. <laughs> I thought it was rats. Do you guys know the sneaky looking man on the opposite corner? Wanna buy a map, eh? Our maps are top quality, not like the bird-caged liners you get from that clown across the street. <laughs> no, just kidding. These are actually copies of the minutes of the last meeting of the Melee Island PTA. Can't even give them away. <laughs> Want one? No, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Okay, that's fair. 
Say, are you guys pirates? No, we're a wandering circus troupe. <laughs> but this rat scared away the elephant. <laughs> Shut up! Of course we're pirates. You can't buy clothes like these off the rack. What do you want? How come you're on this street corner and not on a ship? Looting, pillaging, sacking, that sort of thing. Well, pirating hasn't been panning out so well for us. There are some unnaturally talented pirates in the area right now. Operating out of Monkey Island. So we've been pursuing alternate means of self-support. We're trying to start up a circus. It was working out well, until the rats scared off the elephant. Now you've depressed us. Go home. Hey, don't mess with my rat. I said don't pester the rat. I'm not going to warn you again. Leave the rat alone. I'll just be running along now. Hey, man. Frank, make him quit it. No one will miss just this one thing. Poor little thing. Whatever it was. What may I help you with, son? Ah, I sense the guilt of stealing my chicken grows. Take it. It's yours. Why don't you want it? Is it jinxed with an ancient voodoo curse? No. The pulley squeaks. So? My mind reading skills tell me it is your future you are interested in. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? Yes, tell me everything that's gonna happen to me. I am getting a vision. I see you taking a voyage, a long voyage. I see you captaining a ship. Yeah. I see. What? See what? I see a giant monkey. Yikes. I see you inside the giant monkey. Oh, gross. Wait. It's all becoming clear. Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? I hate surprises. No. The time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know then. Yikes! No thanks. I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo stuff.
Anybody in here? Hello? You know, bad things could happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like this one. And at this time of night, nobody would be around to see it. Yeah, and bad things happen to people who sneak up on other people from behind. So, you're gonna give me a little attitude, huh? I'd better get your name. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm new in town. Listen, Peepwood. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Well, whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here. Sheriff Fester Shinetop. Take it from me. This is a bad time to be visiting Melee Island. A very bad time. My advice to you is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. Boy, I feel much better knowing there's an officer of the law around. Ooh, a circus! I love a circus! It's locked. You gotta get me out of here. I'm a victim of society. Not to mention halitosis. Blah. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. Ahoy there, fancy pants. What do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm. Now, I don't know. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm... I guess I could hike all the way over there... once. Be right back. And don't touch anything! Get a handle on your savings with Grip Master Handles. I can't pick that up. It doesn't seem to open. It doesn't seem to open. Ring bell for service. It never fails. I step away from the counter for two seconds and some idiot's already ringing that stupid bell. The Swordmaster says you can jump in the lake, by the way. What do you want? I could really use a breath mint. Whew, you're telling me. Here, take one. Please, take the whole roll. That'll be one piece of eight. What else do you want? About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? 
I want it. Oh, another would-be treasure hunter, eh? That'll cost you 75 pieces of eight. 75 pieces of eight? I don't have that much. Then you better go put it back. Is there something here that maybe you can afford? I think I'd just like to browse. Whatever. Mint. How refreshing. Thanks. So, have you come to release me? Who are you? My name is Ores. At least I think it is. I've been in here so long I can hardly remember. You gotta get me out of here before I lose my mind completely. Can't you see? I'm innocent. But why are you in jail if you're innocent? I was framed! I didn't touch the stupid flowers! What flowers? The jello conish in dormi flowers in the forest. It's against the law to pick them. So, uh, how's the hood in there? Oh, you know, the usual. Slop, grog, gruel, rats, bugs, and body lice if I can catch them. I have a carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made, even though she knows I detest carrot cake. Actually, the cook at the bar is an old friend of mine, and sometimes he sneaks me food, like pork trimmings, mostly feet and lips, but once in a while, he brings this really odd rump roast. What was so odd about the rump roast? Well, it's the only rump roast I ever seen with a prehensile tail. Can I get you anything? Yes, you can get me out of here. Actually, something to get rid of these rats would be nice. I'll trade you this carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made. I hate carrot cake. So who'd want to frame you? I don't know who exactly. I think it was a conspiracy. And if there's one type of piracy I don't like, it's Cole's piracy. Sheriff Shinetop sure is a jerk, isn't he? No kidding. Fester Shinetop is the meanest man on Melee Island. Luckily, the governor keeps him in check most of the time. We used to have a fair, decent man for a sheriff, but he recently died under mysterious circumstances. If you ask me, I think the new sheriff had something to do with it. I think you've said enough, Otis. Whoops! I hope you haven't been taking this filthy vagrant too seriously. He'd say anything to avoid paying his debt to society. Do you mind? We were having a private conversation. Don't take that tone with me, monkey boy, or I'll gladly lock you up in there with Otis. Then you'd have plenty of time for private conversation. Sorry. Look, I don't know what you're up to. But whatever it is, it's probably illegal. So forget it! Wherever you go on Melee, I'll be watching. And if you try any monkey business, you'll end up in here for good. 
man, is he a pill or what? You see what I have to put up with? You better go before you get his body in trouble. I don't think I can get past them. Ahoy there, fancy pants. Get in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I can do it. I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. Ruffian. Flop. Weasel. Weevil. Miscreant. Toady. Nerdwell. Scuffler. Mallet head. Millet head. Pencil head. <clears throat> Say there, son, how do you like the chance? A once in a lifetime a chance. To perform an amazing feat. A death defying feat. Well, not so death defying, really. Uh, dangerous a feat. No. Not dangerous at all. An easy feat. But exciting. With the amazing. Adventurous. Acrobatic. And exceedingly well known. Fabulous. Flying. Perugini brothers. That's us. My brother Alfredo. And my brother Bill. Sound good? Good. It's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? All you have to do is a get in the cannon. And we'll shoot you out of it. Across the room. Quite safe, actually. So, what do you say? How much will you pay me? How about 478 pieces of eight? Okay, sounds good. Have you got a helmet? Of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? Well, let's have it. We want to be sure. That it's safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No sorry! Ah, that will work as a helmet. 
Now we can do the trick. Step right over here, Sam. Now, put on your helmet. And get in the cannon. And we'll take care of the rest. Echo! Echo! Ah! It works! Oh, I'm so relieved. Hey! Are you okay? Where's my helmet? He's all right! Hooray! We are spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit! Here is your money, sir. Just the recompense for aiding us. The basic theory is a fine. We just need to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next! No, I'll do it next! No, me! No, me! Slacker! Loser! Ruffian! Fop! What an unusually bright yellow they are. I've already got one. I'm not going into this maze-like forest without a map or a guide or something. I'm not going into this maze-like forest without a map or a guide or something. Excuse me, but do... Now it's only you again. Come back for the map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island, huh? I hope you brought enough money this time. I'll take it. It'll make a swell gift. There you go. You made a wise decision. Now get lost. Slashmaster, when you want a sword as sharp as your wit. Oh, I should have known it'd be you again. What do you want? About this sword. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Best hundred pieces of eight you ever spent. What else do you want? About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. 
Oh, it'll pay for itself, believe me. Yeah, you'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would you? <laughs> what else do you want? I'd like some rat repellent, please. Ha! I bet you would. But I haven't got any. What else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Hey! This ain't no boutique. Don't take all day. I think I've been had. This is no map. It looks like... Dancing lessons. It's a striking yellow color. It's some sort of meat or meat-like substance. Important notice. These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. They're sleeping peacefully. A priceless Ming. No time for reading now. This door appears to be locked. I don't recognize the man, but that looks like the dog in the bar. This looks like a job for Fester Shine Top. The red button. It's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. I can't move it. I can't move it.
I'll need this. They must be nuts. It's beautiful. I can't open it. Uh-oh! That should hold him for a while. If only I had a file, I could get the idol. Hey, this might work on the rats. Thanks. Here's the cake. It's heavy. I've got the file. That was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet. Uh-oh. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. Shh. 
she said I could have it. Ta! What's going on here? I caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, Governor. He says you gave it to him. That's right, I did. What? You heard me, Fester. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Festa. I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. So, I gave you the idol, eh? Well... Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. Um... My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... sweet. <laughs> I see. Well, you're obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do? I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. Boo! Rufenkiv! And Wingley? Uh, I really wish I knew how to talk to women. Where do you think you're going, Throom Wade? Excuse me, Mr. Shine Top, but you're blocking the doorway. I think you need to cool off. Hand over your sword. Uh-oh. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. Ah! Hmm. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. I can't reach that from here. 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 I guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do. Well, that wasn't so hard. Now all I have to do is show this stupid idol to the pirate leaders and... You're alive! Governor! Hey! You can talk! <laughs> Who'd have known? What are you doing here? Come to finish the job? No, I came down here to save your life. Fester wasn't acting on my orders when he threw you in there. Uh, you came down here to rescue me? I, I didn't even think you liked me. Well, our first meeting was a little awkward. You seemed to have trouble forming complete sentences. But then again, so do most of my citizens. But I'm not one of your citizens. I'm just a drifter. A nobody. A would-be pirate. Who would have known or even cared if you'd let me drown? I would have, Guybrush. Oh, Governor. Oh, Threepwood. Oh, Elaine. 
Oh, Guybrush. Love Muffin. Sugar Boots. Honey Pumpkin. Plunder Bunny. Kiss me. No, we mustn't. What? Not here, where everyone can see us. Why, are you ashamed of me? No, no, it's not that at all. It's just that many of these pirates have made advances towards me. And to avoid hurting their feelings, I've always told them that my father made me promise never to fall in love with a pirate. If they see us together, they'll know I was lying. Okay then, let's go to your place. Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be preoccupied. But... I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials. Quickly. I wonder if we're all just characters in a novel. Yikes! Oh, you almost scared me to death! I thought you were a... Oh, never mind. Hey, what did you say your name was again? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. I came to Melee Island because I want to be a pirate. Well, you picked the right place for it. Though, perhaps the wrong time. <laughs> Not to mention the wrong name. <laughs> you have the silliest name I've heard in a long time. What the heck is wrong with Guybrush Threepwood? Oh, nothing, if you want to sell shoes. You want to be a pirate, boy? Take my advice. Change your name. Try something like, uh, Dreadbeard or Six-Fingered Pete. Who are you? I'm the lookout of Melee Island. I watch the ocean for approaching storms and ships and report them directly to the governor. She doesn't like unexpected visitors, especially not now. I'm over here. Huh? Oh. Why is the governor worried about unexpected visitors? Actually, it's the expected visitors we're worried about. One pirate captain in particular. A dead one, but that doesn't make him any less dangerous. How did you get to be the lookout when you're obviously blind as a bat? Watch your tongue. I was handpicked by Sheriff Shinetop. I'll just be off to seek my fortune now. Good luck! Those crazy Spaghetti Brothers are still in there. spelling errors.
Same old red flowers all over the forest. I don't think strolling through the forest picking flowers is very good practice for being a pirate. Danger, open ravine. Looks like an old abandoned campsite. Can't pick that up. Creepy. What a lovely plant. The legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. 
This carefully reproduced piece of Melee Island history has delighted thousands of would-be pirates and their families for generations. Remember, there are other pirates on this island. So go easy on the treasure. Leave some for the next person. Here lies treasure of such unimaginable wealth. Well, you'll just have to dig it up to believe it. Paid for by the Melee Island Chamber of Commerce. Well, this shouldn't take too long. Hours pass. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy. It's a t-shirt. Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. More hours pass. I found the treasure of Melee Island and all I got was this stupid t-shirt. a toe. Stand aside, troll. I'm a mighty pirate. <laughs> You're no pirate. While the town drunk could out insult you on his back. And probably would. I can out insult anybody, you brainless clay doppelganger. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Take that and stick it in your repertoire. None shall pass. You can't pass until you pay the toll. Look behind you, a mouse. I'm not falling for that. Scuttle along, you scurvy sea slug. You can't pass until you pay the toll. How much is the toll? Well, what have you got? A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. I want something that'll attract attention, but have no real importance. construction paper jockey shorts? Don't be silly. You have three chances to give me what I want. Then I eat ya. None shall pass. None shall pass. That's pretty useless, but it's not what I want. None shall pass. None shall pass. That's pretty useless, but it's not what I want. None shall pass. None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass.
Welcome to Stan's Previously Owned Vessels. I'm off searching the globe right now for the finest in previously owned marine transportation. Have a look around. I'll be right back. Stan. Grog. Diet Grog. Cherry Grog. Grog Classic. Caffeine Free Grog. And Root Beer. Captain Smirk's Big Body Pirate Gym. Prices. Sword training, 30 pieces of weight. Cannon firing, 160 pieces of weight. Balls extra. Grappling hook, 130 pieces of weight. Hook extra. Well, I think I'll knock. It'd only be polite. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? Could you train me to be better than the Swordmaster? Better than the Swordmaster? You? <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. It looked like we were done for, but then she said, but I digress. You just don't have what it takes. I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. No, I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. Of course, it'll cost you. What do you got? Well, I figured you'd do it for free. Well, you figured wrong. What else have you got? Well, I figured you'd do it for free. Well, you figured wrong. What else have you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yes. I can see this is gonna take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special... student-mentor pieces of eight bonding that I'm going to these lengths. I'm gonna put you up against... the machine. The machine? Is this gonna hurt? Yikes! Come at me! Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me! Watch your footwork! Distance! Distance! Advance! Thrust! Recover! Parry! Repulse! Distance! 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 No! Beat first, then lunge! Hours later... You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. 
You've got good form. Now I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kind of like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's gotta be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay. Imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting, and I say to you... You fight like a dairy farmer! You respond with... I am rubber, you are glue. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. You should have responded with something like... How appropriate! You fight like a cow! You see, it's razor-sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall, my sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with? So's your mother. I can see we're in deep trouble here. Ah, oh. A correct response to Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. Would have been something like... First, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. I'm sure you're feeling something similar. Dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Oh, yeah? You have the manners of a beggar. Oh, yeah? I give up! You win! Hey, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why? Did you want to borrow one? I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I am rubber, you are glue. This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. Uh, 
uh, g could you repeat that? I didn't quite get it. I said, this is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. Oh, yeah? Yikes, nice move. What you be wanting, you scurvy lubber? Ever notice how all these roads start to look the same? Yeah, now that you mention it, they do. Ah, it's probably just that we're tired. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. Oh, yeah? I give up. You win. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Oh, yeah? I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. Oh, yeah? You have the manners of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Oh, yeah? You have the manners of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. I give up. You win. Legendary lost treasure. Well, I discovered the lost treasure, eh? You're a clever boy. You may keep the chic t-shirt. We have plenty. I'm the sneakiest footpad in these aisles. Ah, I do with many hands. You're a free plan. <laughs> and thank you for stealing it for us. I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing.
Ahoy there, fancy pants. What do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again? Hmm... I guess I could hike all the way over there... again. Be right back. And don't touch anything! I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on uh, business. This kid come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike. And don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission, which I surely didn't give you. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I've come to kill you. Nothing like being honest. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. I can also tell from the Melee Time Sports page that you've won only two fights. Not nearly enough to waste my time. This better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. 
You have the manners of a beggar! I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you! Get the point? I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down! Oh, yeah? Uncle! Uncle! Whatever you want, you scurvy lover. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. Oh, yeah? I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, eh? You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. Oh, yeah? There are no words for how disgusting you are. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I give up. You win. Move out of the way, or I cut my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I am rubber. You are glue. There are no words for how disgusting you are. <laughs> yes, there are. You just never learned them. I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, huh? Wow! You're good enough to fight the Swordmaster! How dare you approach the Swordmaster with... Oh, it's you again. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I've come to kill you. Nothing like being honest. 
I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Let's get this over with. You are a pain in the backside, sir. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, huh? My tongue is sharper than any sword. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? I hope you have a boat ready for a quick escape. Why, did you want to borrow one? There are no clever moves that can help you now. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. My last fight ended with my hands covered with blood. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. My wisest enemies run away at the first sight of me. Oh, yeah? I've got the courage and skill of a master swordsman. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? Only once have I met such a coward. He must have taught you everything you know. I give up. You win. Well... I hope you're happy. You can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. You'll need proof. Here. This should convince them. It says, I beat the Swordmaster. so confused. Hey, what are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped. What? By whom? LeChuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. Well, I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. Where did they go? LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. 
But hey, good luck. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. You can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. Attention, pirates of melee. Your governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. governor's mansion. The governor is gone. LeChuck and his spectral crew came and got her. They put her in the ghost ship and spirited her away. She was so good to me. Always conveniently losing those health board reports. For a small consideration, of course. What'll become of my business? Oh, woe is me. What can I do to save her? <laughs> you must get a ship and go after her. The ghost pirate's lair is on Monkey Island. Everybody knows that. Don't ask me how. All you need to do is find a way there. Why should I do that? Why, for love, my boy. Don't deny it. It's written all over your face. Love. Where can I get a ship? Why, it's Smiling Stan's used shipyard. Same as everybody else. Tell them I sent you. We're old friends. Will you join me? Uh, alas, I cannot go to sea. An old war injury. I'm sure you understand. Get me a drink. Get your own drink. Right. I'm off. Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens. And your galoshes. And don't forget to write. Bye now. <laughs> I don't want to put that in. This stuff is eating right through the mug. Looks like a fine pewter tankard. Hey, Gray! A drink! I'm real thirsty. Yikes! Wow! And to think I used to drink that stuff. I'm free! A 
Oh yeah, thanks. If there's anything I can ever do for you. Well, actually, there is something. I'm looking for brave people to join my crew and sail off to Monkey Island with me to rescue the governor. She's been abducted by the fearsome pirate LeChuck and is being held against her will somewhere in his secret hideout. I see. Well, Jess, hmm. LeChuck, you say. Well, Jess, Jess, of course. We must sail to Monkey Island and... <gasps> hey, look behind you, I three-headed monkey! I can't believe I fell for that. Pretty good trick, though. Meanwhile, having just returned from Melee, LeChuck and his crew find their old hiding place in the underground rivers of Monkey Island and drop anchor. Captain, sir, I just stopped by to congratulate you on your kidnapping mission. Captain? Captain, are you all right? Never felt better. And how fares our prisoner? Ah, yes, the uh, prisoner. <laughs> we had a little trouble. Trouble! No, 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 nothing to worry about, sir. Everything's under control. She escaped a few times, but we've got her locked up in the brig. No one's getting in or out of there. For your sake, I hope not. With years of planning almost destroyed by my death, I'm not taking any chances now. You took care of Mr. Threepwood then? Guy Brush Threepwood will not be a problem. At this very moment, he's 20 feet underwater. Probably bloated up like a fattened pig. His eyes being eaten out by crabs. Fish pecking at his fingers. Kind of makes you wish you were there to watch. Ah, yes, sir. Ugh. Sure does it that. Now, go check on the route. Make sure it's locked up tight. Aye, aye, Captain. May I help you? I'm here to loot the governor's mansion. And do you have reservations, sir? Why, yes, I do have reservations. And what name would they be under? It's probably under S, for Shine Top. Nice try, but we're booked solid for the next five hours. Mm, but I might be able to squeeze you in around the two o'clock hour. Would that be okay? Yes, that would be fine. Super. I'll put you down for one to loot the governor's mansion at 2.30. Hey! I'm back and I'm ready to know more about the future. Yikes! So, you have returned to learn future. Yes, I must go after the governor. I see you with some others willing to help in your cause. I really hate that flashing. It makes me see spots. Quiet. I am getting another vision. 
You must. Must what? You must go to Monkey Island. Once there, you will search for the ghost pirate, LeChuck. He hides deep, deep beneath Monkey Island. There is only one thing powerful enough to destroy LeChuck. What? It's an ancient root. Once prepared, the root can destroy a ghost with one touch. Yeah! I'm getting more. More vision. Spill it! I see the cannibals that live on the island. They are helping you or eating you. I can't tell. The vision isn't coming in clear anymore. Great. Now go and find the one that loves you. But be warned. Don't worry. I'll watch out for LeChuck. Not of LeChuck, of yourself. What you will find out about yourself and your world. It will terrify you. Did you know the governor's been kidnapped? Uh, well, yes, we knew about that. I'm going after those immaterial authority figure nappers. Are you with me? Uh, well, the governor could probably take care of herself. And we are sort of busy here. Yeah. And we've got the circus to think of. We've got to find the elephant. And get rid of these minutes. I'm sorry. We simply can't go at this time. Any sign of the governor? None. As I said, I fear we've seen the last of her. You've already got the t-shirt. What do you want now? The governor's been kidnapped! What? That's ridiculous. Oh no. This looks bad. Very bad. I'm getting a ship and a crew together to go rescue her. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, but count me in. I'll meet you at the dock.
I'm Stan of Stan's previously owned vessels, and I'd stand on my head to make you a deal. What sort of craft are you looking for? Big, fast, slow. You want it, I got it. And if I don't got it, I'll get it. I want to make you a deal that you're happy with. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. But I know you're going to leave here happy today. How do I know? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So tell me, what are you interested in looking at today? Something not too expensive, but built to last. Affordable quality. Hey, that's my motto. I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. Now I can see you're a no frills kind of guy, but I can also tell that quality means a lot to you. I mean, just look at the way you dress. Rugged, like this baby. She comes from a land far to the north where the sea is as unforgiving as the men are tough and, hey, you wouldn't happen to be from there, would you? You just seem to have a sort of Nordic quality about you. Anyway, we're talking about a real value here. Let's talk about money. Your money. I have 371 pieces of eight. I'm glad this ship doesn't have ears, my friend. Because if she did, she'd slap your face. I doubt you're carrying enough cash on you for this transaction. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? Actually, I was hoping to get one on credit. Sorry, kid. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just old Stan's philosophy. If you've got a job, the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Then we'd have something to talk about. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. All I have is this rubber chicken. Is it one of those rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? I already got one of those. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Well, heck, I can understand that. Nothing wrong with being indecisive, even if it is a waste of my time. So, what else can I show you? Actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Sure, sure, think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. I forgot to give you my card. And here's something else to remember me by. A compass? An extra strong magnetic compass. With your picture on it. That's right. It always points directly back here. So if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. I'll be right here when you come back. But I can't guarantee that any of these ships will. Right. They're moving fast today. Yes, sirree. Can't hardly keep anything in stock. He'll be back. When you set sail for good value, all winds blow towards stands. Warning, contains strong magnet which may interfere with other navigational equipment. Stands previously owned vessels. I won't shut up until I've made you a deal, Stan. There's no answer.
Those crazy spaghetti brothers are still in there. It's just like the one on the other side. Hey! I don't like visitors. Who are you? The governor's been kidnapped! What? That's preposterous. Oh, really? Take a look at this note they left. Oh, no. This is horrible! What are we going to do? I was hoping you would have an idea. Hmm. Let me think. Hmm. Oh, no. We could get a ship and a crew and go rescue her. What an idea. Now, if we only had a captain. Well, what about me? Ha! You! Ha! <laughs> That's a good one. Hey, I'm serious. Really? Really? Okay, let's see you prove it. Walk this way. There's something in here that I want to show you. Something horrible. Something so horrible that I stay awake at night just thinking about it. But I don't mean to scare you. I'm sure a big brave guy like yourself will have no problem facing this monster. After all, it's much smaller than the beast that bit off my hands so many years ago. Arr, 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 arr. Let's just hope you're quicker than I was. Oh, I just remembered something. I never did get around to feeding him this week. Ha 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 ha! Silly me! I'll let you open this last door yourself. Just let me get out of your way. Wait. <laughs> Getting cold feet? No, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to open that little door. And if you're brave enough, touch the beast inside. Oh, is that all? Okay, go ahead. If you've got the guts. <laughs> I don't believe it. You are a brave man after all. You faced the beast I've feared all these years. You had the guts to do what I never could. <sighs> I feel like such a coward. I'm not good enough to be on your crew. I'm not even good enough to swab your de 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 decks. Oh, come on, Mr. Uh, Meat Hook. Mr. Meat Hook? You're a big, strong, good looking guy with a great tattoo. I can make a talk. Who wanna see? Ha! Uh, maybe later. Anyway.
You can swab my decks anytime. <laughs> really? Sure. I can still be on your crew. Just pack your stuff and meet me at the dock. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I won't let you down. Hey, maybe I'll get a chance to show you my whole tattoo routine when we're at sea. Wow, this is sounding better and better all the time. Wow, it works both ways. That's some chicken. I can't get anything out of that mug. It's not really much of a mug anymore.
Hey, where'd you go? I hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster, who, by the way, says you can go jump in the lake. And when I come back, whew, you're gone. See if I ever do you a favor again. What do you want? I'm interested in procuring a note of credit. You are, I, uh, you got a job? Yes, of course I do. All right. I'll get one of my notes and we'll fill it out. Let's see here. What did you say your occupation was? I'm an acrobat with a traveling circus. You're one of them Fettuccini brothers? Where's your silly accent? And where are your silly slippers? Come back when you got a job in a credible business. What else do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again? Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Again. Be right back. And don't touch anything! There's nothing in here but this note. Now look what you did!
Howdy! Great to see you again! I knew you'd come back. Everybody does! You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships! I've got something for everyone! Come, take a look around! So, what else can I show you? I don't really have that much to spend. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. This here is the famous Sea Monkey, the only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island and come back with anyone aboard left alive. Or should I say, anything. You see, the previous owners of this ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their fate? A mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Melee Island without a single human aboard. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. Anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. Let's talk about money. Your money. I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, of course. Your credit's always good at stands. It doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce, chronic gambling mishaps. I mean, who am I to judge, right? If the storekeeper trusts you enough to give you a letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady income, right? Uh, right. Let's get down to brass tack, shall we? I know you want it. You know you want it. And I know that you know that I want to sell it, so... I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? Well, how does 3,000 pieces of eight sound? Sure, I guess we can start out at the bottom. I got all day. I'm going to be getting a whole new shipment next week, so you got me over a barrel. I've got to sell this baby, even if it means losing my shirt. I'd like to make you an offer. Great! How much? Okay, okay. 4,000 pieces of eight. That's a little bit more like it, but not much. I know you can try harder than that. Just tell me, what would it take to get you to sail this ship away? Today. I'd like to make you an offer. Great! How much? All right, 5,000, but that's my final offer. That's a little bit more like it, but not much. I know you can try harder than that. You realize, don't you, that they just don't make them like this anymore? Let's talk extras. Extras? You want to talk extras? Great! This baby's loaded with extras. For instance, did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? Gee, Stan, that does sound useful. And well worth the money, too. That's why it's already included in the price. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. 
sure, throw safety to the wind. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Well, I guess it'll float without it. Barely. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the velour sail covers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Hey, travel light. I can understand that, sure. Of course, mutiny is an ugly word. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the tachometer? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Wow, does your wife know you're such a cheapskate? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Yeah, I guess that is kind of decadent, isn't it? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about this simulated wood siding? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but I'm telling you, barnacles hate simulated wood. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? Enough about extras already. Okay, where were we? I'd like to make you an offer. Great! How much? Five thousand. And that's my final, final offer. Five thousand pieces of eight? Okay, okay. It's killing me, but okay. And I thought I was gonna give my children Christmas presents this year. Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. Oh yeah, do you have that note from the storekeeper on you? Thanks. I've got to run these numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. You meet me at the dock with your crew. I'll bring the ship and the papers. I just want to say that I really feel like we got to know each other today. I mean, I really felt some bonding here, and I don't just say that to everybody. It's been great doing business with you. Really? Sucker. See you at the dock, and don't forget your crew. All three of them. I sold the ship. Can you believe it? I'm off on a long vacation spending some poor sucker's money. Arrivederci, baby. Stay in. It's a good thing you showed up. Ten people have offered to buy this baby off me while I've been standing here waiting for you. But I said, no way. I know a guy who's in love with this ship, and it would break his heart to lose it. Am I right? Of course I am. I mean, just look at her. Sleek, aerodynamic, a buoyant barnacle-covered beauty. I think we're having a real moment here. I've changed my mind. I can't give her up. 
You can have your money back. How could I sell something so dear? Then again, a deal's a deal, right? Right. <laughs> Good luck, yeah. I'm out of here. Whoops, I almost forgot to give you this free seafaring literature. My gift to you. Just remember where you got it. Stands! Maybe I should have gotten that extended warranty after all. Hey, long time no see. You little two-faced cretin, you tricked me! Oh, come on, don't be bitter. I'm here to help, not just for the money. Uh, money? Yeah, we are getting paid for this, right? <laughs> Is it true what I heard about you and the storekeeper? Look, don't start with me, okay? So what's that waterlogged wreck doing out there? How are we gonna get our ship in here with that pile of scrap in the way? Where's the cabin boy? I need him to go back to my place and pick up my bags. What's going on here? Where's our ship? Where's our crew? This isn't gonna be as easy as I thought. leadership of Captain Freep, uh, Threepwood, the Sea Monkey is finally underway. Undaunted by their lack of navigational equipment or expertise, the crew begins to plan their voyage. First of all, I'd like to say it's great to be working with such a fine crew. The voyage ahead is not going to be easy. It's going to take skill, endurance, and most of all, teamwork. First, I thought we'd assign some duties. What is it we were suckered into doing again? I made a list. Suckered is right. I don't see what the big deal is with rescuing the governor. She can clearly take care of herself. The way I look at it, we got this great ship. Well, we got a ship. Why don't we kick back, tie a rope to the wheel, and cruise for a while? I could use a little work on my tan. Come to think of it, I have been a little stressed out lately. I could use a rest. Then it's decided. We cruise the Caribbean. Uh, I'm doomed. like an empty chest. There's an old dusty book inside. Let's see what it is. It's called How to Get a Leg Up in Treasure Hunting. How to get ahead in navigating. It's called how to arm yourself in sea battle. It says, Captain's Log, March 10th. First mate Toothrot and I have been searching for Monkey Island for over a month with no success. The directions we purchased on Melee proved to be a recipe, not a map as we had believed. Captain's Log, March 12th. I wish Toothrot would take a bath. Captain's Log, March 17th. I wish Toothrod would stop snoring. Captain's Log, March 23rd. Toothrot is really starting to get on my nerves. I figure it's only a matter of time before we come to blows. Captain's Log, April 2nd. As a gesture to restore our friendship, Toothrot offered to fix dinner tonight. 
Captain's Log, April 3rd. I don't know how we did it, but we've arrived at Monkey Island. Both Toothrot and I passed out from the soup he fixed last night. When we awoke, Monkey Island was sitting off the bow. Captain's Log, April 4th. Toothrot and I filled the rowboat with supplies and are ready to set out to Monkey Island. We are both excited at the prospect of being the first civilized people to learn the secret of Monkey Island. Captain's Log, April 5th. We had to turn around and return to the ship. Toothrot forgot to go to the bathroom before we left. We'll set out again tomorrow. And that's the last entry. It's made. Must be dealer prep. There'll be time for that later. I can't pick that up. It seems to be locked up tight. I hear the weather's pretty nice over by Monkey Island. Nice try, Guybrush, but no banana. anything special about it. What a fine looking flag. Shivers me timbers just looking at it. It looks like an old pirate's chest. There's some very fine wine in here. I'll grab it. They're just old empty kegs. They're just old rusty chests. They're just old rusty trunks. They look like kegs of gunpowder. Wow, gunpowder! I think I'll take some. this stuff when I was a kid. I like the way it chewed up the roof of your mouth. Great! A toy prize inside! Prize? It's a small key with a finely engraved monkey on it. It seems to be locked up tight. Man. 
Man, that's heavy. Filled, no doubt, with golden jewels. Hey, look, a piece of paper. And some cinnamon sticks. I don't see anything special about it. Directions to Monkey Island. Preheat pot to 450 degrees. Add the following ingredients. One cinnamon stick. Four leaves of mint. One human skull. Pressed. One squirt squid ink. Two pints monkey blood. Mmm. One live chicken. Three ounces brimstone. One or more of the following. Pyridoxine hydrochloride. Zinc oxide. Yellow 8. Mine mononitrate. And BHA. Let bubble over a low flame until thickened. Serves crew of four. Directions to Monkey Island. Preheat pot to 450 degrees. Add the following ingredients. One cinnamon stick. Four leaves of mint. One human skull. Pressed. One squirt squid ink. Two pints monkey blood. Mmm. One live chicken. Three ounces. Love cinnamon. Good thing I've got a million of these. Just a drop. enough. About time I got rid of this worthless artifact. Oh, this is going to be good. Dizzy. Overcome by the fumes and stench, Guybrush quickly loses consciousness. Moments later, the voodoo spell kicks in, turning the ship to an unknown heading and off on its mysterious voyage. Days pass. Oh, I feel awful. Can't pick that up. Holy monkey bladders! It's Monkey Island! Hey, look! We've made it to Monkey Island! Let us know when you found the governor. We've got an extra chair she can use. I'll take some more. There's no place back here to put the gunpowder. I'll 
I'll take some more. Nice and hot. Deja vu. I'm only going to put this on if I really have to. Rot. Don't bother to say hello. I've only been waiting 20 years to talk to somebody civilized. I don't mind. Fine. By the way, you might want to think about putting out that fire. Someone could be hurt. Notice of public meeting. There will be a meeting Wednesday evening to discuss the recent occupation of the sacred monkey head by the ghost pirate LeChuck. And the subsequent impact on the environment and the tourist trade. All Monkey Island cannibals are encouraged to attend. This is an old friend of mine, the one I sailed here with. He's lost weight. Never looked better. <laughs> what happened to him? Um, I'm afraid I must be going now. Pressing business, you know.
It's printed on letterhead. To the ghost pirate LeChuck. We must ask you once again to curtail your nightly activities in the sacred monkey head area. Decent people are trying to sleep. Kindly keep the noise level down. The Monkey Island Cannibals. P.S. We saw you taking that woman with the scarf down there. Violence anything special about it? He doesn't look good. There's a message in it. It's a memo. To Herman Toothrot. From Yammer, Hem, and Haw, Attorneys at Law. Regarding suit against cannibal tribe over malicious tossing of your oars into a chasm. I think we have a case here. We can probably soak them for emotional distress and possibly punitive damages as well. Hmm. Sounds like legalese. I don't think I can translate the rest. Look at that fabulous ship out there! Did you come in that? You're braver than you look. Actually, it looks a lot like a ship I used to own. I got taken by a guy named Stan. Stan of Stan's used ships on <laughs> Melee Island? <laughs> Are you some kind of a castaway? What do I look like? The caretaker? <laughs> Listen to this guy. Am I some kind of castaway? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Why, the people watching, of course. Uh, um, sure. My name's Toothrot. Herman Toothrot. I live here. Well, not right here, in the fort on the volcano. Were you stranded? You think I stay here for my health? Oh boy! It's a gross old bottle. I don't want it. Private property. Worshipping is permitted, but please do not enter the monkey head. G.P. LeChuck. Yipes. I can't pick that up. Shish kebab. Shish kajo. Shish galeri. carved his name on it. Made by Red Skull. He won't go that way. I can't move it. Wow. It won't go that way. Boy, 
It sure is hot here. I don't see anything special about it. Well, I'll check out this note while I'm at it. To the Monkey Island Cannibals. I don't mind you worshipping in front of the sacred monkey idol, which doubles as my home and secret base of operations. But could you please refrain from leaving messy sacrifices on my porch? Also, please do not enter the monkey head. G.P. LeChuck. To the Monkey Island Cannibals. Please stop moving this. It is delicately balanced. Herman Toothrot. I never get tired of this view, even if I have been looking at it for 20 years now. Even if it is the only view on the island. Yes, it is a nice view. I'm Guybrush. I'm here to rescue someone. Well, here I am. Glad you came to rescue me. Though you might have been a bit earlier, the find on that overdue library book should be pretty big by now. Let's go! Um, that's not exactly what I meant. I sailed here in pursuit of the governor of Melee Island, who's been kidnapped by a ghost. Oh, fine. Don't rescue me. I like it here. The rain on my head, the wind at my back, the bugs on my plate. Um, well, perhaps I could take you back, too. But I've got to rescue the governor first. I think she's on that ghost ship underground. Oh, okay. What happened to your pants? What pants? You say you got a key from the locals? I lent my banana picker to them, and they never gave it back. As collateral, they gave me this enormous cotton swab. It opens the monkey head, see? Not like I ever need to go into the monkey head. But if they want it back, I've got to have my picker first. It's a matter of pride, you know. Why don't you just give me the key to the monkey head? No! I needed to get back my banana picker! So you're not the only one on the island? I'm the only civilized person on the island. There's a native tribe of hunter-gatherers. Well, head-hunter-gatherers, actually. But I don't talk to them. They are cannibals, but they're not dangerous. Unless you lend them something. I told you about them borrowing my banana picker and never returning it, right? How did you get stranded here? Well, I sailed here with a friend of mine 20 years ago. We hoped to discover the secret of Monkey Island. But my friend met with a horrifying and tragic accident, which claimed his life. And I couldn't sail a ship back by myself. I trained a bunch of chimps to crew the ship and sail it back to Melee Island. They were supposed to get help and come back for me. There's something must have happened. How come you didn't just go with the chimps? Weeks on a boat full of monkeys. Oh, joy! Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> well, 
I don't think I want it. Whoops. I can't move it. I'll just put it here. like it hit the big banana tree on the beach. I bet the odds against that are incredible. Herber tree. Boy, it sure is hot here.
I can't pick that up. Herman, please return our key to the monkey head. The cannibals. here. It's rusty. I don't think it'll work. Hey! Nice spyglass! Looks just like... Say... Where is my spyglass? Oh, perfect. I'm gone five minutes and somebody comes in here and dumps gunpowder all over the floor. Naturally, I don't think you had anything to do with it. I'm sure it's just a coincidence that you came in here to prowl around right after some mysterious person dirtied up my nice clean floor. Um, sorry. Well, that's okay. Next time, be more careful. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> well, I've got enough. Nothing to look at here. I'm not bothered a bit by the fact that you waltzed right into my home without bothering to knock. Well, I would have knocked, but I couldn't find a door. Well, that's okay. Next time, be more careful. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> I'm not bothered a bit by the fact that you waltzed right into my home without bothering to knock. Leave me alone, would you? It's hot here. That doesn't seem to work. Oh, sure. Walk to the sun. 
That doesn't seem to work. 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 There's a nifty lens in it. Doesn't look good. <laughs> Not until he comes down. I can't reach that from here. It's spooky and I'm not going any further. It's spooky, and I'm not going any further. I can paddle it with these oars.
cannibals. I'm not giving you bloodsuckers your key to the monkey head until you return my banana picker. H.T. It's an empty hut. Why? It's empty. This hut is very empty. I don't want to get any closer to that thing. It might be booby-trapped. It looks big and empty. No thanks. The rest is no good. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Is that a banana in your pocket, or are you just glad to see us? You've got a lot of nerve stealing from the notorious Monkey Island cannibals. You're cannibals? Well, yes. Although lately, we've been trying to stay away from red meat. Only for health reasons. We're still as vicious as ever. Oh, especially with tourists who try to steal our stuff for souvenirs. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Hey, do you really think we're that stupid? I wouldn't push it if I were you. Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Ha! We're not going to fall for that old trick again. I guess we'll eat you now. Unless... If you had some sort of offering for us, something that we could pass on to the great monkey, well... Come on, you can do better than that. Obviously, you have nothing for us. We might eat you, we might let you go. We'll have to talk about it with the village nutritionist. Come, let me show you our guest hunt. That should do it. To the ghost pirate LeChuck. We must protest your acquisition of our voodoo anti-root. We realize that it presents a hazard to you and your crew, but this is thievery. The Monkey Island Cannibals. I think that's how I'll end up if I don't get out of here soon. No thanks. They've still got some meat on them. Looks loose. I might fit through that hole, but I don't think this banana picker will. And no, I'm not getting squeamish. I'd love to eat the guy. So let's do it. But think of your arteries. We are cannibals for crying out loud. Yeah, but cannibals have to watch their saturated fats just like everyone else.
looks like a sacred idol of some kind. What a cheap piece of mass-produced tourist crap. On the bottom it says, made by Lemonhead. I doubt anyone will miss this piece of junk. It looks like a sacred idol of some kind. This is much too heavy to pick up. Let alone carry around this godforsaken island for god knows what reason. The door appears to be locked. Ah, the banana thief returns to the scene of the crime. Maybe we should just eat him right now. Do you have any idea how much cholesterol is in one of these things? Now then, how did you break out of our hut, and why did you come back? Don't eat me. I'll give you anything. Anything? Hmm. We'll give you one more chance to trade something of yours for your freedom. Well... Hey. Wow. This is impressive. Lemonhead. Take a look at this. Ooh, that's nice. And it says, made by Lemonhead, just like one of mine. We should take this to the Great Monkey. Yes, I agree. We are very grateful to you for this fine gift. If there's anything you need on Monkey Island, just come see us. Will they give it to me? Oh, hi! I was just looking for the natives to get them to return my banana picker. But I can't seem to find them. I have your banana picker. Hey, thanks! I thought I'd never see this again. Here, you can take this key to the monkey head back to the natives. Okay. And don't worry, I won't use it or anything. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> Why? It's empty.
Why? It's empty. Have you come back to let us repay you for your fine gift? Well, actually, there is something. Tell us, what is it? I'm looking for somebody. Here? On Monkey Island? We're the only people living on Monkey Island. Well, the only civilized people. That's okay. The people I'm looking for aren't living. Oh, yeah. Those guys. Then you've seen the ghost pirate LeChuck and his cadaverous crew? Those jerks have been bugging us for months. Zooming around here in that creepy ghost ship of theirs, wailing and moaning until all hours of the morning. Scaring away all the cruise ship business? Normally, when we have problems with the undead, we just cook up our standard potion of exorcism and be done with it. So why don't you do that now? Well, the main ingredient of the potion is a very rare root. In fact, there's only one in existence. We only use a little bit at a time, you see. But the Chuck stole the whole thing. LeChuck came in here and stole your root? What a cat. And I suppose stealing bananas is any better. Where is he hiding it? He's in a place beneath this island. Somewhere in a huge system of catacombs. A hellish place filled with the wailing of tortured souls trapped forever in the rock where the walls bleed and the air is thick with the rancid smell of pure evil. Tourists used to line up for hours to see it. What happened? Health department shut you down? No, we lost the key. It was stolen. Well, we loaned it to a hermit who lives on the island. And until that crusty old pantless weirdo brings it back, we're keeping his banana picker. I'm off to find the chuck and get the root. Sorry, but it's just not that easy. Trying to find the chuck could be very dangerous. You'd never find your way through the catacombs without them. Hey, Ixnay on the Edhe of the Avigator Nay. The what? Nothing. Nothing. What's the Ed Hay of the Avigator name? I see he is baffled by our native dialect. Good. We could at least tell him what the head does. Well, it's a navigating tool. It's a head. It was once attached to a navigator. We've kept it alive magically so we could take advantage of its innate sense of direction. Getting through the catacombs without it is impossible. But it's our only one, so you can't have it. I guess we have nothing to offer you. After he gave us that nice idol, too. Feel free to come to the Great Monkey and visit your idol anytime. So, anyway, Lemonhead, what was that you were saying about tropical oils? Well... It's called How to Get Ahead in Navigating. Well, look at this. It looks like instructions on how to get ahead. We could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. 
Yes, I suppose we can give you this now. Thanks. Looks pretty good for a dried up old head, doesn't it? We keep it wrapped in this magical necklace that makes it invisible to ghosts. Oh, look! I think he likes you! Just follow his nose, and he'll lead you to LeChuck's hideout in the catacombs. Then, get the root from LeChuck and come back here. We'll mix up a batch of our special enzymatic ghost dissolving solution. And you can pour it on LeChuck like salt on a slug. Yeah. Good luck. There's no place to stick it in. I had a feeling that in hell, there would be mushrooms. me to go to the left. It's mine. Okay, we're here. Now what do you want from me? May I please have that necklace? No, but thanks for asking so politely. Oh, come on, please. You can beg all you want, but you can't have it.
Why can't I have it? I've got a bad feeling about this place. I think I might need it. Pretty please? You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Maybe I'll just take it. Maybe you'd better not. I don't want to have to hurt you. And I don't want to have to make you regret it. What are you going to do? Bite me? Remember, you need me to get out of this place. If I wanted to, I could strand you here forever. If I wanted to, I could dropkick you into the lava. On second thought, hey, what good's a necklace if you don't have shoulders? This feels weird. They look like chickens. I can't pick that up. I can't get inside it. It's nailed, chained, bolted, roped, glued, and welded together. It's locked. It's locked tight. Must be something important down there. Ugh, even ghost feet smell. the cabin of the ghost pirate Lechuk. You'd better fear! It's got little wriggling blue hairs in it. Ah, what be that noise? The ship sounds strange in these waters. Ah, what be that noise? Strange places, strange noises.
can't get inside it. It's nailed, chained, bolted, roped, glued, and welded together. It's locked tight. Must be something important down there. It's an empty dish. I'm not gonna pick that up. It's covered with rat slobber. Yikes! I hate rats. my hands. I don't want to wake him up unless I have some of that anti-ghost potion to defend myself with. Oh, good. More inventory. do it. I'll just grab this old root and be on my way. Long walk, a brief row, and a short hike later. I did it! I got the root! Wow! Look, he's not kidding! Here it is! He's not such a wimp after all! Come on, let's go make the brew of the fermented root. Wait here, we'll be right back. I got the root. There it is. One squirt of that stuff and the ectoplasm really hits the fan. And if you have any left over, it's delicious with a little vanilla ice cream. Good luck. Thanks. After some more furious paddling. Eep! You scared me half to death!
balmy weather we're having, isn't it? It's always like that down here. What happened to the ship? They all left for the wedding. What wedding? LeChuck is marrying the governor of Melee Island. What? But how will they... Where's the wedding? There's a lovely church on Melee Island. They're headed there. Melee Island? Oh, no. Why are you still here? My head fell into the lava there, and I had to chase after it. And when I came back, they had gone. Shame, too. I hate to miss the wedding. I've got to go after them. I've got to stop that wedding. Bye. Bob! <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I missed the boat to the wedding. Hey! No problem! <laughs> we can take mine! Let's go! Uh, hey, uh... Will you take me to Melee Island? I'll lend you my ship if you promise to rescue me with it. Okay. Well, let's go! Well, that certainly was easier than the trip to Monkey Island. I wonder where Toothrot's gone to now. Now I'll have to stop the wedding by myself. Yikes. Hey! Wait a second! Could I interest you in some root beer, sir? Root beer? Oh boy! I love root beer! Cool. be united in blissful matrimony. Let him speak now, or forever hold his peace. The groom isn't a human! Hey! Who's that? You! Take this, you vaporous voodoo vermin! Take what? Are you trying to bribe me? Governor! Governor! Governor? What's going on? Oh, guy brush, you mad fool! I'm impressed you came to rescue me, but it really wasn't necessary. I had everything well in hand. Unfortunately, your arrival has made it necessary for me to tip my hand early. How? Who? But... What? I... Uh... If you're here, then who's that in the dress? What? Oh, don't scare them! They have my ghost zapping root beer bottle! Oh, I'll get it! Oops. Ugh, nice 
Where's going, Guybrush? Now I've got to chase them down to get my voodoo root beer back. But... I... Well... Uh, hey! You dared come here and confront me? I can't believe your audacity. Well, I can't believe your stupidity. Yeah? Well, I can't believe your frivolity. Well, I can't believe your enormity. Yeah? Well, I can't believe your mobility. Well, I can't believe your atrocity. Yeah? Well, I can't believe your fragility. Well, I can't believe your virility. Ah, I grow tired of you. Um, say now, let's not be hasty. <laughs> ah! Son, how's the ship? If you're interested in trading up, I can give you a fair price for it. Howdy, partner. You know, just by looking at you, I can tell you're a man of the world. A man with an eye for quality. A man who knows a good bargain when he... Yikes! Oh, don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry. That's okay. You know, LeChuck was a deviant, obnoxious, slithery, creepy, crawly sort of a guy, but I'll say one thing for him. What's that? He sure looks nice exploding against the night sky. Yes, it's very romantic. Can I buy you a root beer? There's more at Stan's. Oh, gosh, I hope Stan's okay. Uh, I wish my crew could have seen this. You know, I can't shake the feeling that Guybrush was somehow responsible for that big rock sinking the ship. Yeah. As soon as we find a way off this island, we're gonna have ourselves a little chat with Mr. Threeport. Out of this hut first. At least I learned something from all this. What's that?
How to deal with frustration, disappointment, and irritating cynicism. Hmm, that sounds like something my husband would say. Ugh, 